Hello, today we're going to talk about the first step in your flow cytometry data analysis, which is cleaning your data, doing some quality control. So the first step you should always do is plot time against fluorescence and look for any inconsistencies in the data. And these inconsistencies can be caused by machine issues or cell preparation issues, clumps or changes in, in, in machine performance. And to do this, in an automated fashion, we're going to use the Flow Clean plugin for FlowDraw. But first, what is the first step you should do? So if I was going to do it manually, I would load up FlowDraw, lower, insert some cell or some files. So these are files from the FlowCap2 study on Flow Repository. I would plot time against the fluorescence parameter. And you can see you got a nice consistent pattern here, so it's, it's good. But there's also a thick line on the right here. And that's because the scaling is wrong. So I'm going to press the T button, customize access, and I'm going to make the max a larger number. There we go. And we can see from here that actually near the beginning we have all sorts of issues. So these are, these are probably clumps of cells coming through the machine. And in theory, and in reality, what I want to do is just analyze this last section. So analyze this last section, I would get a rectangle gate, highlight all these events, Call these good cells, and then from my from then on, I would do my analysis on this good cell population. If my my abnormality was in the middle, say here, I would do the, do the opposite, the obverse. I would call these bad cells, highlight them over here, click tools. Click Boolean gate on and choose a not gate. And then I do my analysis on these not bad cells, which is everything that's outside of this box. So the problems with caused by this, um, this these abnormalities or these, these machine performance issues, is that your fluorescence can be off. So this is my live dead, it didn't make much difference. But say if I would look at my CD8, we can see that there's a there's a marked difference here. And if you were analyzing this data without looking at the time first you would assume you'd have a, a small population of completely negative cells. And this is caused by machine performance or clumps of cells again. If I look at the TNF-alpha, we get something similar. So TNF-alpha is a cytokine, and you look at very small populations. And at the very start, we have a, a small increase here. But we know this is probably incorrect because of all these data abnormalities. But if you were to just gate this, these would be included as your positive population, and your, data, and your analysis would be incorrect. So obviously doing this by hand is very difficult and it's laborious and you have to look through all the fluorescent parameters. So flow cytometrists and uh, bioinformaticians have developed algorithms to do this automatically. One of them is called FlowClean. And FlowDraw has a plugin for FlowClean and this will do it all automatically and make your life much easier. So how do we use it? So first of all, you have to install R. So Go to Google or Bing and, and uh, search for R and install it into your system. Then on your flow draw, you have to click on the Preferences button, which is this heart. Click on Diagnostics and point flow draw to R. So what flow draw will do is it will load R, run the flow clean plugin or the package in R, and then load the data back into flow draw. So you have to point it towards this bin. So mine's program files. So if I go to my computer, C drive, program files, R, nope, sorry, wrong program files, program files, R, your latest version of R, which for me is R devel, and click on bin and press open, and that's where it's going. And to install these plugins, you need to restart our uh, flow draw, so you might as well close it now. No, I'm lying, in fact. <laughs> What you want to do is press workspace and you've got this plugins. Click here and this is where your plugins will go and you press click on FlowDraw Exchange. And FlowDraw Exchange is where FlowDraw keeps all the plugins and there's quite a lot and we'll go through some of the others in different videos. And somewhere down the bottom you'll find FlowClean. You download it. Open it and inside you will find two files, the FlowClean plugin and the help file. 
So we'll load the help file and we'll copy flow clean. And you want to put that into your Flojo plugins folder, which is program files, Flojo, plugins. I've already got one here, but you would paste it here. If you're not an admin on Windows, you'll need to talk to IT to have admin access to do this. And if you're obviously running Mac, you have to do a slightly different procedure. So back in the instructions, it tells you what flow clean is and some instructions. So as I said, what Flowjo does, it loads R, does the processing in R and brings it back into Flowjo. So you will need the flow clean package in R. So you have to run R first. So in my case, I go to Windows. You can't see it behind my shoulder. And I go to R and I type and I click on the R shortcut, which will load, load this R window. And then it gives you some instructions. The instructions are miserably out of date. Hopefully they won't be in the future because this is not how you load packages using Bioconductor anymore. So Bioconductor is a repository of biology and bioinformatics software, which is where these packages are stored. So instead, you have to do use these commands, which is install packages by OC manager. So I will put these down in the description below. Very important to get the correct um, capitalization and um, choose your closest mirror site and then we'll install Bioconductor. Then it asks you to install Flowcore and Flow Clean. And what you can actually do is just highlight them all and press paste and it will just do them all in order. So this will take a few seconds depending on the speed of your internet connection. Mine's not too bad, I'm very close to EBI here. Um, whilst in lockdown for coronavirus. Press enter again, install flow clean. Done, and that's it. So we can now close R, it doesn't matter what's saving it. I will minimize these so we don't need these instructions again. And what we now need to do is restart Flowdraw. So, with Flowdraw running again, we're going to take some more files. So, I don't know, just pick a reasonably random file. Bring it across. If we want, we can look at it, make sure there's there's some inconsistencies. So have to change the so normally you don't have to change the axis. I don't know, there's something strange about this data, meaning I would have to do this. And we see there's the inconsistencies at the start again. So we highlight it, press workspace, plugins, flow clean. It tells me it needs, the workspace needs to be saved first, so I'll save it to my desktop or wherever you want to save it. And it asks you for the parameters. So you want to choose all your parameters, all the ones you're using, especially time. And these are the, the parameters for flow clean, um, uh, the, the kind of um, the settings for running flow clean. So um, if you read the paper, you'll discover what all these are. But basically, flow clean splits the data into chunks and looks for deviations between the chunks. I'm just going to accept the defaults and press OK, and it's going to run flow clean. So there's 250,000 events here, so it'll take, a, it'll take a few seconds. But afterwards, we'll end up with two new gates, one called um, good events and one called bad events. And hopefully it will remove that, the start of this data here. Bring it up in the middle. Here we go. So we've got good events and bad events. So if I double click good events, perfect. It's removed this beginning chunk, bad events. The very start and it's removed this middle bit. So it's automatically done this. If you want to do this for all of your samples, equally easy. Um, if I pick a few more, bring them across. You either can highlight them all and press flow clean, but then you have to press OK each time, which is a bit annoying. Or you can just take flow clean 
and bring it across to all samples and then it will run floor clean on every single one. And after that you do the analysis on good events. It's always a good idea to double check the results are correct by just hanging them up and also you might want to change the play with the parameters slightly depending on the scaling of the machine you've used. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, come back for more plugins and flow draw videos later. Bye.